Hey YouTube, what's going on? Josh here to bring you uh, my very first episode of Let's Build. And for my very first episode, I decided to just go with something simple, you know. Didn't want to just jump into some gigantic project. Just wanted to get myself out there. Um, for the first episode, we're going to be building a pixel art version of the Diamond Sword. And you may be wondering, well, why is something so simple as a Diamond Sword that everyone can figure out, you might ask. Well... I have my own version of it. I think it looks cool. It almost looks like if, if you had a certain texture pack on, kind of feel to it. My design. There's a lot more basic, and there's the the general simple design. But with my design, it gives you the actual color variants of the actual pixel art for the sword. And I thought it was a really cool idea, and I thought I'd let you guys show you, show you guys what uh, my design is like. And so, if you so wish to design it or use it, that you guys will be able to use it. Let me change this real quick, sorry about that. Get back to daylight. And without further ado, I'll show you the finished product here. And as you see, the materials you'll need for this will be block of coal, block of diamond, cyan wool, block of quartz, spruce wood planks, and gray stained clay. As you see, it's got really good variants of each other. I think it contrasts itself very well. Even the handle is actual wood, like you know it would be in real life if you were back in night's time you know back in the day anyways so those are the materials you're going to need and I'll step right over here to show you guys how to do it okay well first you want to go actually, I'll up. not that it matters you want to go with three base starting off with your gray stain clay clay that is the basic outline for the the handle and the, the broadsword all right you want to go three wide at the bottom this is this is if you want it slanted you can build it straight up, but I'm not sure why, because usually it's slanted. So I'm gonna show you guys how to build it slanted. And you want to go three up, so two more from the bottom, over, space that, that one right there. So almost like a square without filling in the corner there. Then you want to go over to your your block of diamond, throw that in the middle, and then now into the handle. What you're gonna do is you use your spruce wood planks, and you're gonna place that in the corner. Then you want to go two more upright diagonals, just like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your block of coal, fill in the gaps here, and that is going to be the basics for the handle. Next thing you want to do, you want to come back over to your gray stained clay, place one on each side of the spruce wood here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to come down right diagonal over two, as you see here. And then a downright diagonal over two again and up one. And you want to come over to the other side. You want to do the same pattern. So over and up two. And over and up two. And that's going to give you. Oh, and uh, go ahead and take that over. There's more to fill in, but that's just like the basic layout. And then what you want to do here is you want to go over back to your uh, block of diamond. And you're going to place one here, two there, and one down here, and the same pattern for the other side, over, and then fill that in with your gray stained clay. The sides, yep, it goes there, and there, okay, and that is, as you can see, the main part of the handle, not too much complications there, as you can see. Now the pattern that I like to use for the this main part of the sword here, is using quartz with a combination of cyan wool. I think they really contrast each other well with the, the brightness of the, the quartz. Even though it's a tad, it should be a tad shade of blue, but I think the quartz looks great with it. So what you're gonna do, you're only gonna do nine upright diagonals with your cyan wool. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Make sure I got that right. Just keep going. Seven, nine, yep. Nine upright diagonals with your cyan wool. Then you're going to take your quartz and outline it just like this. And as you can tell, this is the, the main part of the sword. The main blade, if you will. And then after that, all you have left to do is to take your block of diamonds, which is kind of like the framework the material I use for the framework 
and outline that on the outside edge. Just another way around. Sorry about that. And at the end here, you do want to fill this last block in. I know there's big controversies on whether or not that block should be missing, but I I think it should be filled in. I mean, that's the way it should look, in my opinion. It's got to have a point. But I've seen them built before in the past where people have not filled in that block, and I'm like, you're stupid. It should be filled in. But whatever. But anyways, that is it. I mean, it's really it's pretty simple to build. I mean, just simple pixel art. I know you could probably look up a picture yourself and do it. But I figured I'd show you guys my way of doing it. I love it. It looks nice. Probably be adding it to our server above the PvP arena. I think it'd look really cool. Maybe two of them crossing each other. But I think it's awesome. And please leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Uh, it took me a minute to come up with it. But obviously not too difficult. Um, that is pretty much it. Um, subscribe if you are new. I'll be doing many more Let's Builds. I'll also be doing Let's Plays with the crew by myself. Tons more content to come. So please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. And I'll see you in the next one.